Hey guys, Grady's mom here to do a video that I've been asked about a lot. Um, a lot of people have asked me to share which cleaning products I use in my home and what specific things I use them for. So I am here in my kitchen. I'm at my island and on this cabinet all the way to the left is where I keep a majority of my household cleaning supplies. Um, so pretty much I'm just going to run through quickly um, and share with you guys what I use and for what specifically and all of that uh, good stuff. Now I don't clean my bathrooms, my husband does. He cleans our bathrooms once a week every weekend. So these Lysol wipes are mainly uh, what he uses in the bathroom for you know certain surfaces. So he uses those mainly. I don't really use these too too much just because I don't do the bathrooms. Uh, the Windex here pretty obvious. I use it for mirrors, windows, the TV, anything glass. Um, and I use, I tend to reach for this bottle once a week because I like to wipe down, you know, again, my TVs, my mirrors. My husband actually put a big dent in this bottle because he cleaned some of the windows uh, on the downstairs level. So Windex, I feel like is pretty self-explanatory. We use that with paper towels. This here is a uh, granite cleaner that I found at Marshall's and I absolutely love this. It's perfect for my granite countertops um, and my island and it really, really gives it a nice shine as well as gives it a really nice clean. I've talked about this product before. It is the Barkeeper's Friend in the spray form. It is a spray and foam cleaner. Uh, it has this little tab on the spray nozzle and you can spray it two ways. Uh, I like to actually open it up and it gives a more streaming spray. And I actually use this. I have a bottle in my laundry room. I actually clean the um, front loading washer and dryer doors with this. But it's also excellent on my stove top actually have an electric stove top um, and it gets kind of really caked with the food because I cook pretty much every day. So this has been a lifesaver on my stove top. Moving along, this is another bathroom cleaner that my husband uses just to clean the toilets. This is a Baby Gannix Fabric and Nursery Freshener, aka just a fabric kind of spray. I use it on my couches, on any room that we have carpet in. Um, I used to use this in Grady's or oh, previous room in our New York house, and I actually forgot about it. And I've been using it again on the again upholstered, you know, couch and any rooms with carpet or bedding. It just has a nice fresh scent. This one is the Comforting Cucumber. We also use a Febreze. Uh, fabric spray as well that I have a bottle of upstairs and then for wood I use this Murphy oil soap it works really 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 well um, it has a nice pleasant scent and it just gives my wood a nice shine and a really nice finish One of my favorite all-purpose cleaners are by Method uh, from Target. They come out with a lot of limited edition scents. This one is almost empty. Uh, this is from the summer and is, it is the Sunset Beach scent. I have not seen it in Target since maybe September, so I'm guessing it was a summer scent, which makes total sense. Um, I use this all over. I have used it on my granite countertops. I just prefer the other one, um, but this is definitely what I would use if for some reason I was out of the granite countertop cleaner that I have. Uh, I use this on my son's high chair tray or just kind of anywhere that is not like a stainless steel or a wood surface. However, you could use this on wood. I believe it's safe and I have used it before. Um, and then again, this one's almost empty and I actually have a backup one that I purchased that's full um, in the newer 
limited edition. I'm assuming this is for the fall. And this is the pomegranate scent. So that is my backup for the Sunset Beach one, which again is almost empty. I have this cleaner here. Um, it's sort of just a duster. It's called Canned Air. Um, I've gotten, you can get these pretty much in the office section. I use this to clean my office, my computer, my printer, my modem, just anything electro, you know, electronic. Um, it's just pretty much literally canned air and it does a really good job of removing dust um, and things like that. It's just called a multi-purpose duster. Again, you can find this in office sections or at a store like Office Max or Staples as well. And I really, really like that. And actually, this can usually last me almost a year. I think I only have to buy one, maybe two cans per year. Um, so that's a really good product. And then something else that I absolutely love is also from Home Goods. This is the Howard Natural Stainless Steel Cleaner. It's fragrance free. It does an awesome job on my stainless steel appliances. Um, I know there are a lot of different brands of stainless steel cleaners. Um, I really haven't tried all that many, but I'm really, really happy with this one. I absolutely would recommend it if you do see it at Home Goods or Marshalls or someplace like that. Lysol, pretty self-explanatory, not really a cleaner, more of a dis disinfectant spray. So I use that whenever sick germs are going around, especially during back to school time. That's just a bottle of water. This is something, this is my second one. I just finished up my first one, so I'm working my way through this one. I actually used to keep this on the counter. It's the Clorox Pump and Clean, uh, and it is like a kitchen dish cleaner or counter cleaner. I actually decided not to keep it on the counter, this one, because my son liked to pump the first one that I had, um, and he would pump it all over, and just it was just a disaster. So this I keep under here with the rest of my cleaning products. Um, I don't think I would repurchase this after this one is finished, only because I think the Method all-purpose cleaner does the same thing, um, and it's just a little bit more convenient since I can't really keep this on my counter right now just because my three-year-old will get into it. But it is a good cleaner. Um, it's really clean smelling. It does a great job for quick messes on your counter, kind of cleaning as you go. But just in my case, or maybe if you have little ones that like to get into things, um, I would recommend this all-purpose cleaner over this one just for my lifestyle right now. Um, I also wanted to share, most people know about these, they've been around for a while, the Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. These are so awesome if you have kids or pets. Uh, my son uh, has enjoyed drawing on the wall, drawing on things he shouldn't be drawing on, and these have done a really good job of getting that off, um, as well as just other random household, pet, or child-related messes. Um, these are really, really good. Um, I find that a lot of people say they reuse them a lot. I find, depending on the mess, they're not really able to be reused that many times. Again, this is just from my experience, um, and it all really would depend on the mess. But I buy the bulk pack, which looks like this. Uh, it has six, and there, there's different ones. They have, This one has extra power, bath scrubbers, and kitchen scrubbers, which have Dawn in them, which you can see right there with the blue stripe. Um, but these are just a really good product to have if you are used to having frequent messes or, you know, kids who like to paint or draw on the wall or anything like that. They're just a really good product that I can highly recommend. Um, this is pretty much the bulk of what I use um, in my home. This is pretty much most of my products. The only other product that I will share in just a moment is my hardwood floor cleaner. As far as my bathroom floors, which are ceramic tile, uh, so non-hardwood floors that are not carpet, I actually use the Swiffer, um, which are, these are just the wet pads, the wet mopping pads. We have the Swiffer uh, mop, and I use these um, in my ceramic tile bathrooms, um, and they do a really, really good job. And lastly, I want to share with you guys my Bona hardwood floor cleaner. One more thing I wanted to share quickly are these SOS pads. I actually buy the big box of 50 from BJ's. 
and they're very inexpensive. For this box, I'm pretty sure it's about $7, and there are 50 scrubby pads. These are, they work wonders in my sink. We have a large sink, and these have the cleaner right in them. They're just kind of, the cleaner is activated with water. These literally, guys, get my sink sparkling, clean, and shiny as if I had just moved into my home. I use these about twice a week. I just rinse out my sink really well, and then I go to town and scrub them. They don't scratch my sink at all, and literally my sink looks brand new every time. So I actually had to clean my sink anyways today, so it was perfect timing that I was filming this video. I wanted to share with you guys these SOS pads. They kind of just feel like a Brillo pad. They're kind of um, abrasive, but they're activated. The cleaner is activated with water, and I just use them. I do this twice a week. Um, and I just use them to scrub my sink. Again, you can just add a little bit of water, which will activate the cleaner. And it just does a really thorough job of cleaning your sink and making it look brand new. So I usually do half the sink with one side, and then I flip it over. And then I do the other half of the sink with the other side, just to make sure I get all of the cleaner out of the sponge. And again, just by adding a little splash of water, um, it really, really adds or, you know, makes that cleaner kind of come to life. And just don't be shy to do the walls of your sink where a lot of stuff gets built up. I feel like some people just clean the bottom part, like right here. But I find if you do the walls and everything, you know, the places we sometimes forget about, it kind of gets all that grit off or anything that's stuck there, even things we can't see. And as you can see, just that one sponge did a really really good job if you guys can see how sudsy that is and then you just simply rinse it out And it literally looks brand new and it does not scratch it and it smells so fresh. Okay guys, lastly I want to touch on my hardwood floor mop. I use this once a week uh, on Fridays when I clean my house. I First what I do is I vacuum my hardwood on the hardwood floor setting of my Dyson. And then once everything is off the floor, I use my Bona hardwood mop. So. It just looks like this. I actually chose to get a second pad. So these two pads are the same. They actually Velcro right off of this base. So that way, when one is dirty, I always ha I find I always have a backup, so I don't have to wait to wash the pad. Um, and I just switch them out maybe every two weeks or obviously as needed. So every two moppings, I would switch that out. Obviously, if it needed to be switched out before, then I would do that. And then this just comes off, and you turn it over, and it unscrews, and you just fill it up with the hardwood floor cleaner, which I actually have to purchase some more soon or I would show you the bottle. But again, the brand is Bona and I buy the biggest possible uh, size because I use this every single week. I have a pretty good area that I need to do my hardwoods. Um, a good majority of my downstairs level, kitchen, dining room, bathroom, hallway is all hardwood. So I do go through this um, pretty quickly. And it's so simple to use. Literally, this would be something your you know kids that are a little bit older could do. Um, it pretty much just has this nozzle here. And you just push the nozzle in and it sprays out the cleaner. Very, very simple. There's a little spray thing that sprays out the cleaner here, and a little bit really does go a long way, and not only does it make your floors clean, it dries fast, it's not sticky, um, it doesn't leave like a film or a residue, it actually leaves my floors really, really shiny and clean, and I'm really, really happy with it, and you can find the the cleaner at a lot of different stores, um, from Walmart to Target to Lowe's, and I absolutely love it, and I think it does a really, really good job, and I personally like this better than a mop and a bucket, um, but everybody has their preference. I definitely think a mop and bucket does the job, but I really, really like this for convenience and for how clean and shiny it makes my floors look. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the products I use to keep my home clean. If you have any questions, just comment down below and I will do my best to answer. Have a great day and I will see you guys all very soon. Bye.